Okay, before I begin, I want you gold diggers to subscribe to my channel right now if you want gold or else you won't get any gold. So yeah, listen to your master and subscribe. Okay, maybe I'm not your master, but anyways, lots of you in the comments have said you don't have enough gold for this, you don't have enough gold for that. Well, now it's a now a actually right now is the mo like most easiest to earn gold. There's so much so many options and I'll show you guys the five best ways you can uh, get gold and I'm on the screen because lots of you have loved uh, this PS4 team it's from a game called Absu A B Z U or Z U whatever so anyways let's begin okay so at number five we have awards reset so every time you reset an award you get 40 gold nuggets or 0.4 gold however you want to say it so you want to go to options I mean press start then go to progress and then select awards and I I didn't even know about this until like four months ago like I didn't even know about this mechanic so I reset all of my awards and I got like 10 gold bars so as you can see I have a full award to reset so if I reset this I'll get 0.4 gold so go to your awards and see how many awards you can reset. So there are some easy ones you can grind out. So now if I back out, as you can see, I got 0.4 gold. So at number four, we have treasure maps. Initially, I wasn't going to include this, but uh, ever since the summer update it's easy to find treasure maps like just from looting bodies you can get treasure maps now like you know, if you clear out hideouts uh, moonshine roadblocks and stuff if you loot all the enemies you get treasure maps and even from uh, bounties so each treasure map uh, gives you around one to two gold bars usually you get around one gold bar and 50 gold nuggets and uh, and you also get a treasure map every five times you level up so if you're level 10 you'll get a treasure map and when you're level 15 you'll get a treasure map and level 20 you'll get another and you'll keep getting them every five times you level up and you also get around hundred dollars from uh, opening the treasure so yeah it's it's a pretty good way so say you have like 13 gold bars and you need two more to unlock a roll or something just open up a couple of uh, treasure maps and that should be enough for you to buy a roll so i have opened the treasure and let's see how much we get so one gold bar 55 gold nuggets 125 dollars and a shitty opened health cure it's pretty good so for number three we have stranger missions this used to be the original grinding method like when the game was was at beta so all the ogs will remember this method so if we used to run down the clock uh till the last 30 seconds and that way we used to get like a maximum payout and that's still a decent way to earn gold and money guys this will especially be helpful if you're new to the game and you can easily make up to 20 gold bars i would say per day if you have if you spend around four to five hours per day so i'll sh show you guys a screenshot you don't have to wait uh last you don't have to wait for the last 30 seconds on all the missions now this screenshot about i'm about to show you will tell you like how long you have to wait till you turn in the mission so this one says intercept the buggy it was a repossession uh, mission so yeah let's see how long do I have to wait till I can turn in the turn in the buggy so this is the screenshot right here as you can see on the repossession it says turn in time is 30 seconds and uh, it has all the missions so uh, whatever mission you get just look at this screenshot and you should know what how long you have to wait till you can turn it in 
So I'll turn in now. I didn't wait till the last 30 seconds because I accidentally killed the NPCs that were in the buggy and I wasn't supposed to do that so and I still got around 25 gold nuggets. So at number 2 we have $3 bounties. These are the hard bounties but they are not really hard. If you are actually like even 30% good at this game you should have no problem with the bounties at all. And uh, always capture the bounty alive so that way you get the max amount of rewards. And just like the stranger missions like wait till the last 30 seconds and then turn in the bounty alive. So that way you get the so first first uh, step is to capture the bounty alive and the second step is to wait till the last 30 seconds and then turn in the bounty so you get even more uh, you, you get the max payout from that so I actually knocked out the bounty and went to the grocery store real quick while I was waiting so you can just knock them out and do whatever you want <laughs> till the last 30 seconds and let's see how much we get. So knocking them out, uh, it counts as alive as you can see. So uh, 24 gold nuggets, 22 bucks. So yeah, I'm not sure why I got teleported there. Now I'm pretty sure you guys guessed the number one. It's the daily challenge, the 21 day streak daily challenge. I lost my streak a couple of days ago. I had like a 78 day streak. But I was at my friend's house for a couple of days so I couldn't log in. But if you have a 21 day streak you get 50 gold nuggets for every daily challenge which is insane. You can get up to 10 gold bars per day. And the thing about daily challenges are they're fun. They're fun to do. So if you do two daily challenges you get one gold bar just like that and if you increase your streak to 28 days you get a treasure map on top of that so anyways after this video i don't want you guys to comment like i don't have enough gold it's just just work a little bit just work on it <laughs> you'll get what, you'll get how many gold bars you want in no time anyways i am out